Now that we've learned how to light our scene for day using the directional light and how to create these effects such as these god rays over here, we're going to learn how to light our scene for night. So the first thing I'm going to do is put off my directional light over here and go over to the unlit shading mode because there is no lights in our scene right now. Next, I'm going to go over to the content folder and filter for static mesh and then search light. So we can see all the lights that are present in our packs here. I'm going to use this bunker light and again, this is facing the wrong way over here. So you can either rotate this or you can right click, transform and mirror Z. This is going to flip the light for you. So we're going to position our light roughly above the table here because that's where I think the light should be. Of course, you can place your lights in different places. That's no problem. So we're going to put our light just above, just below the ceiling here and position it wherever we want it. Now, this light at the moment has an emissive texture on it, so it is going to give off some illumination, but you cannot rely only on this to light your scenes in Unreal Engine because they will be very noisy. So what we're gonna do is go to the quickly add a project menu here, go to lights and go to rectangular light over here. We're gonna rotate this pointing downwards and position this just below our light like this. Now, once it's in position, we are going to do a couple of things. Firstly, we're going to make this light slightly, you know, reduce the width here and reduce the height so it matches our, our physical light there. And even maybe raise it a little bit. Next, we're going to reduce the angle of the barn door so we get this nice soft effect, soft illumination effect here. And again, you can push this slightly higher, maybe somewhere like here. And that should be enough uh, to set your light up. Now, because we have auto exposure enabled, our light is very bright right now. So we're going to reduce it to a value of one. So it starts looking nice and dim like this. Also, the light color is wrong. If you press the G key to go into game mode, you can see our light is of a white color, but the emissive texture is slightly more yellowish greenish here. So we're going to click on light color and then change this to a slightly more yellow green color here to match the you know, the emissive texture that's coming off of this. And you can see we've got a light set up pretty easily, ready to go here. This is looking really nice already. So we're gonna select the physical light and the area light, the, the rec light that we've got here and press Control G. If you don't want to group them, you can just Alt and drag them to create another light. And I'm going to place this in the bathroom over here. So it may be up here. Now the bathroom does feel a little bright for me. So I'm gonna select this rectangular light here and take the intensity down to 0.1 just to make it slightly more dimmer like this. Okay, so once again, when you're lighting for night, try not to light the entire environment up. You know, don't make it completely well lit. You want to create some sort of curiosity as to what's back here, draw some shapes using light and dark contrast. I am gonna light, um, add a light back here because this area does look quite dark. So again, we're going to grab any one of these. You can grab this tunnel light fixture here. And again, we're going to go back into unlit and place it roughly about here, just next to the entrance. And again, this light has an emissive texture on it, so it is going to give off some lighting, but we can't rely on that. So we're going to add a point light to the scene. Now, again, because we don't have any auto exposure, it is going to appear very bright. So you can take this down to a value of one or 0.5 here just to make it slightly dimmer and then we're going to position this in the middle of our bulb here and now we've got a second light source as well so this one again i'm also going to make this slightly warmer greenish like this and maybe take it down to 0.1 so it can be slightly dimmer here you don't want it completely you know everything completely illuminated now the other issue we have is our shadows are very sharp extremely sharp here and we don't want that so with point lights, you do have this setting here called source radius. This is the physical size of the light. So as you increase this, you'll notice this yellow color ball growing, uh, sphere rather, growing around this. And we wanna make this roughly about the size of our light here to kind of soften these shadows up a little bit. Next, I'm also gonna take down the attenuation radius of this because I only want this light to kind of affect a smaller area there just to create more contrast between these two uh, illuminated regions here. And then one more light I think we can add just to showcase, you know, more ideas for you is we could, even though this TV has no um, kind of texture on it, 
no illumination on it, we can use a red light here, provided that the camera never reaches in front of it because then our viewers will know this TV is off. So we can kind of rotate this rectangular light here, place it right in front of the TV, like this. Okay, and um, with this set, again, you want to take the barn door angle down, make it slightly dim because it's too bright right now. Even right now, it's too bright. We could go with 0.1 or 0.3 here and then give this a blue color. It can represent, a, you know, maybe a TV show that's on that someone's watching by the bedside there. And I think 0.1 is going to be slightly better. This looks more realistic. So you can see here very quickly, you can, using the basic lights in Unreal Engine, you can set up a very nice uh, evening, nighttime lighting scenario with, you know, some indications to that. There's a TV on here. There's a, a smaller light there by the entrance. And we've got this one light in here, along with a light in the bathroom there. All of these lights drawing really nice shapes, indicating that yes, someone is living here and that there is some activity inside this, uh, this cozy apartment. When you light your scenes, you can try more lights, less lights, but I always recommend try to get the message across with, with as fewer, fewer lights as possible. That way you are naturally drawing this contrast between dark and light areas over here. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at how to now output this from Unreal Engine in the form of either a screenshot or a cinematic video that you can then render and share with your friends or put up on social media.